Hey everybody, Dr. Schultz with the Santana Schultz Clinic with another weekly update. Thank you so much for checking in. Today we're going to be talking about a pinched nerve in the shoulder and what are the symptoms. So thank you for checking in. The goals of this brief presentation include to describe what in the world is a pinched nerve in the shoulder, what are the symptoms associated with this, and what are the seven major causes. A pinched nerve in the shoulder is basically irritation or compression or both of a nerve that, that presents itself in the shoulder. It can occur anywhere along the path of a nerve and the nerves exit the neck and go across the muscles underneath the collarbone and can go around or into the shoulder. The co most common symptoms are an electrical burning or sharp pain. There's also associated with numbness and tingling and in severe cases you can get heaviness of the shoulder. The seven major causes of a pinched nerve shoulder symptom include, number one, an injury to the cervical disc. The disc is that way for the cushion in between the vertebral bodies in the neck. Conditions include a disc protrusion, herniation or extrusion, and any of these can actually cause irritation and or compression of the nerves as they exit the neck and go to the shoulder and other parts of the body. Number two, a bone spur as depicted here. A bone spur, otherwise known as an osteophyte, is an abnormal bony growth. And this bony growth can actually narrow, as depicted here, the path through which the nerve exits. And in doing so can create irritation and a pinched nerve sensation. Most common causes of a bone spur include trauma, inflammation, and most importantly, instability. The third most common cause is a cervical facet injury. A cervical facet is a pair joint in the neck and actually throughout the entire spine. It's susceptible to injury, inflammation, and arthritis. And when it gets injured, it gets inflamed and bulked up. And in doing so, it can narrow the path through which the nerve exits and travels to the rest of the body. This narrowing can cause irritation and or compression of the nerve. The next one is an inflammatory condition, and we know these. Common ones include arthritis, where there's inflammation of the shoulder joint that actually can cause irritation or compression of a nerve. Other conditions include a bursitis, which is a, uh, a, bursa, a bursa is a fluid filled sac, which can get inflamed and cause irritation of both the nerves that travel over it, as well as the tendons and muscles. And then finally, a tendonitis. A tendon is a connective uh, piece of connective tissue that connects the muscle to the bone. It too can become inflamed and irritate nerves as they travel to their end point in the body. The next one is the thoracic outlet, which is a medical condition that can keep you out of the game. Basically, the thoracic outlet, as depicted here, is the area between the collarbone and the first rib. This is a rich area of muscles, nerves, and blood vessels. In this area, you can get inflammation of any of these structures with resulting irritation and compression of the nerves, with resulting, oftentimes, pinched nerve sensations in the shoulder. And then finally, due to our uh, predilection or dependence upon screens and monitors and iPhones, poor posture can be a real culprit. It can lead to a head forward position, as seen in this gentleman here, rounding of the shoulders excessive curve, which is called thoracic kyphosis, which all leads to muscle imbalance, spinal uh, misalignment, and resulting in traction or irritation of nerves as they come out of the neck. At the Centeno Schultz Clinic, we are experts in the evaluation and treatment of shoulder and nerve injuries. We are board certified fellowship trained physicians, all injections and treatments are performed under ultrasound or x-ray guidance or both. And then finally, we offered a customized, that's right, a customized PRP and bone marrow treatment options for patients that are suffering from many musculoskeletal conditions, including 
pinched shoulder symptoms or pinched nerve symptoms in the shoulder. Thank you so much for checking in. I'll see you next week.